With recent high profile and widespread computer viruses making headlines, it's become obvious that the future is now. Welcome to Watch Mojo News, the weekly series where we break down news stories that might be on your radar. In this installment, we're counting down 10 crucial facts you should know about cybersecurity. Number 10. What is cybersecurity? The term cybersecurity was coined in 1988 as a result of one of the first ever registered online viruses, the Morris worm. The worm caused many of the 60,000 computers connected to the internet at the time to slow down, to the point that they were unusable. My personal speculation is that this is somebody who is trying to, to, to warn people to say, it can happen to you. More recently, cybersecurity has come to signify a form of protection from attacks designed to paralyze websites, financial networks, and other computer systems by flooding them with data from outside computers. Number 9. How has the landscape changed? Cyber attacks have become much more sophisticated and much more dangerous over the years. Today, several organizations have proven that the cyber community is not safe, private information is not private, and anything can be leaked online if you're not careful. Created in 2006, WikiLeaks is a website that publishes secret information, news leaks, and classified documents for public consumption. The website has been involved in numerous high-profile investigations as thousands of secret government and corporate documents have been made available to the masses. We would like the rest of the media to, to take up our gauntlet, do everything uh, that we can do, and therefore it wouldn't be necessary. Number 8. What is the cloud? Cloud storage is essentially where digital data is stored on a server and typically owned by a hosting company. By storing your data this way, it's easily accessible anywhere, anytime. You may have heard about iCloud, which is a cloud storage and cloud computing system from Apple Inc. On August 31, 2014, iCloud was hacked and over 200 private celebrity photos were posted to the image board 4chan. According to Apple, the leak, nicknamed Celebgate and The Fappening, was, quote, a very targeted attack on usernames, passwords, and security questions, a practice that has become all too common on the internet. Number 7. Who's doing the hacking? Hello, citizens of the Rio Grande Valley. I come to you again on an urgent note. As technological advances increase, so does the number of enemies in the cyber arena. From white hat hackers looking to highlight the weakness of a computer system, to lone hackers trying to steal personal photos or information to use as blackmail, to experienced criminals devoted to stealing banking info, to teams of hackers looking to protest, hackers come in every shape and size. A major player today is Anonymous, an international network of hacktivists who attack government, religious, and corporate websites using their wide-ranging technological expertise to fight for what they believe is the greater good. Working as online vigilantes, hacker groups like Anonymous and LulzSec work in the shadows of the internet. Though undoubtedly influential, they're still widely criticized. The corrupt fear us. The honest support us. The heroic join us. Number 6. What are some famous targets? Citizens, corporations, and even large government agencies are not safe from the machinations of cyber criminals. As early as 1995, the Citibank network was hacked by Russian Vladimir Levin, and millions of dollars were taken. Famously, in 2011, the website of technology security company HB Gary Federal was hacked, exposing over 71,000 confidential emails. Another example of the power some hackers wield was the shutdown of the CIA's main website on June 15, 2011 by the group LulzSec, coming on the heels of the group's high-profile attack on the Sony Pictures site. In 2013, hackers involved in the biggest cyber fraud case in American history were charged after they targeted the Nasdaq, as well as companies like Visa, JCPenney, JetBlue, and more, costing them more than $300 million. Number 5. What does cybercrime look like? Cybersecurity infringements can be split into two classifications crimes that target computer networks, and those that use computer networks to advance other ends. We'll be focusing on the first category, which includes computer viruses, denial of service attacks, a favorite of hackers, and malware like Trojan horses, worms, bugs, and more. These attacks can work in two ways, 
Either they require the user to mistakenly run an infected program, or, as in the case of a worm, the virus spreads itself and only needs a network to infect other computers. The good news is that antivirus and anti-malware software is available for your computer, with the goal of protecting your operating system by stopping unwanted operations. Number 4. Who's Protecting My Rights? In the United States and around the world, governments are gearing up to tackle the next threat to global security, cyber attacks. In some cases, governmentally mandated programs have been created to support key infrastructure sectors by providing money and resources. On a global scale, international treaties dealing with cybercrime are being considered, like 2001's Convention on Cybercrime. Cyber attacks have plunged entire cities into darkness. Furthermore, on January 1, 2013, the European Union established the European Cybercrime Center, a hub that will support member states in investigating and responding to cybercrime. Number 3. How secure is my online information? There are many steps you can take daily to secure your privacy, personal information, and essentially your digital footprint. To start, make sure the websites you frequent are reputable, especially when banking, and be mindful of questionable emails or requests for personal information. In terms of passwords, make them long, strong, and unique. And wherever possible, enable a two-step verification process to keep yourself even safer. Always check a Wi-Fi network before you connect to ensure it's secure. And finally, avoid sharing compromising information and pictures as these things can easily be shared with anyone in your network. Number 2. What are the current concerns? With more and more people and devices connected to the internet than ever before, the opportunity for hacking and cybercrime is growing exponentially. A recent concern facing computer users is the software bug known as Shellshock or Bash Door. Some specialists are worried it will pose an even bigger threat than the security bug Heartbleed, which had previously been labeled catastrophic. Unlike Heartbleed, Shellshock can not only spy on computers, it can also take complete control of them, exploiting an existing vulnerability in Mac and Linux-based computers. With potentially hundreds of millions of devices at security risk, many major software companies have patched the bug. The worst thing that could happen is that uh, somebody would write code that would automatically go and scan the internet and would infect all of these uh, computers. Number 1. What is the future of cybersecurity? Combating cybercrime will require a cohesive, formalized international movement whereby law enforcement agents can go beyond cyberspace to prosecute those engaged in illegal cyber activity. Criminals' techniques are constantly changing, but their goals remain steadfast. They wish to either malevolently destroy or to use hacking as a means of protesting the status quo. As new cybercrime issues arise and old ones persist, the need for a global system of laws to prevent and police these infractions will soon become a requirement. Only then will cybercrime become a thing of the past. Did these facts surprise you? To vote for which news story is covered next, head over to watchmojo.com suggest and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more newsworthy top 10s every week.